Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how to draw a face, okay? Now the face has certain proportions to it, so it's also got symmetry, which means it's it's got equalness, okay? So one half is equal to the other half. The top is proportionally equal to the bottom. So we're going to start by showing you how to divide the face up. So people also have different shape faces. So some people have a round face, some people have an oval face, some people have a rectangular face, some people have a triangular face. So we're gonna do some different faces and I'm gonna do it quickly, but you can do it at your own pace at home. But you wanna just watch me the first time, then pause it and do it at your own time, at your own speed. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do is, we're just gonna make it oval, okay? Mine might be a little out of whack because I'm gonna be drawing at an angle, okay? So here's a basic oval shape. Now, for mine, I'm doing it with a big marker, so I'm just gonna draw a line down the center. Your lines will be in pencil and they'll be lighter. Later on, you can erase them, but this will just show you how to do it, okay? So you wanna divide it in half, divide it in half, then divide it in half again, like you're making it into four quadrants or four equal pieces of pie, okay? Here we go. Now, pretend that your face, you're gonna put your eyebrows right above this top line, eyebrows. Two sad faces. Then you're gonna take this bottom half and you're gonna divide this in half again. So right here will be your nose, okay, nose. Then you're gonna take this bottom half and make this into your mouth. This will be your mouth, okay? Now, for this, you wanna make a smushed M. Okay, a smushed M. And that'll be your upper lip, upper lip, okay? And then make a happy face underneath it, okay? Happy face. Now here, the top of your, if you run a finger above your eyebrow, you're gonna come to the top of your, uh, your ear. If you run a finger from your, your mouth, you're gonna run it from your lip right here, you're gonna come to the bottom of your ear. So I know my ear is gonna be, I mean from the nose over, I'm gonna hit my ear, from my eyebrow over, I'm gonna hit my eye. So if you run your eye, feel it, you can feel it. Nose over, eyebrow over, you're gonna hit your ear. So I know my ear, bottom of my ear is gonna be right here, top of my ear is gonna be right here. So I can do an ear right here like that. Do the same thing over here, top of my ear, bottom of my ear, put an ear right there, okay? Ears, right there, bang, bang, boom. Okay, so here I'm just gonna do sad face, happy face, Sad face, happy face, eyes. Then you're gonna put your eyelids in. Some people have really big droopy eyelids, some people don't. The older you are, the droopier you are. Back to life, sorry. Okay, so here you're gonna add your eyelids, make them in, make them in, and your eyeballs. You never really wanna have great big fat eyeballs. It's gonna make you look like you're on drugs. So you just wanna put your eyeballs in. Put some eyeballs in there. And you don't want pinpoint eyeballs. Again, you're gonna look like you're doing some drugs. You don't want that. You're just gonna do that. So here you go. Now you're gonna make your, your nose. If you put your fingers on your eyebrows right here, if I go like this, look, it leads right to my nose. Feel it, my eyebrows lead to my nose. Feel them, run it down, feel it. So again, here's my eyebrow, my nose. My nose comes right down to my eyebrows, right there. Then you got a little nostril. Some people have really wide noses, some people have little skinny noses, okay? So here you put a little nostril in the end. So sometimes they're gonna be really wide, sometimes they're not, okay? Now here would be your hair. Some people have really far hairlines that go super far back. Some people don't have hair. So you just wanna decide where you want your hairline to be. So I got bangs. So my bangs are all the way down to my, uh, my eyebrows, right? So I would put my bangs right along here. And then my hair is gonna come out over, okay? Over my hair. And my hair might come down all the way over here. So I might go like this. Some people won't. But if you look at, move your hair out of the way, you're gonna see my neck isn't pencil skinny. My neck is actually right here underneath my ears. So I don't have a really skinny pencil neck. My ears, my neck is right here next to my head, right? So I really wanna just start my neck right here. It comes in right here. That's my neck. It's not in here. It's all the way right in here. And some people have a long, thin, skinny neck. 
Some people have a fatter neck, depending on your weight. So you just want to go like that. And then your shoulders, depending how muscular you are, some people have these really muscular necks. Some people don't, like this muscle here. A man who works out is going to have a muscle right here. A woman who doesn't work out isn't going to have that muscle. In fact, women have this bone right here, which is the most commonly broken bone in the body because there's no muscle underneath it. If she gets a blow right here, it's going to break. A guy has more muscle here. That bone's not going to break on them as much. So a woman might have this little muscle right here. This bone shows up on her. On a guy, it's not going to show up. Okay, so she might have a muscle bones like that. So you just want to kind of make it that way. Let's try it again another time. Okay, let's try a different one. So let's say we make the make a face again. This time I'll make it a little um a little more squarish. Okay, so here let's make it a little manlier. So here's a face. Okay, so here let's make it a little manlier. So I made a more rec uh, rectangular face. I again, I made it more rectangular, squarish, okay? Did my same X again. I'm gonna divide it up the same exact way with my X, like I'm making a pie, cutting into four quadrants. Divide the bottom again, equal parts, okay? Divide this in half, square it. I'm gonna put that eyebrow right here. But men have a different eyebrow. They might have a, a more uni brow kind of look they're not tweezing away like women are we pluck ours guys usually don't manscape the way women do okay so they might have more of an eyebrow right here so let's let's give them a little more some guys do some guys don't okay so let's just add a little bit more here because they're not plucking away like we are okay so let's add the sad face and the happy face underneath it give them the upper eyelid Think about your eyelids. You got an eyelid that blinks. If you couldn't blink, you'd go insane. We'd go insane if we couldn't blink, right? Because that helps our eyes flush and wipe, wipe out impurities. We need that. Then you want to put that eye, the pupil, the iris part, the colored part. And then you got the black part, which is the pupil. Put that in there. And you don't want the full circle. You want just some of it. Put that in there. Okay. You don't want to draw each eyelash because it's going to look like a spider's on your eye or a caterpillar. You don't really want that. Okay, then you're going to add your nose. Put your nose in here. And you're going to add some nostrils. Get that in there, okay? And then you're going to add your, no your mouth. Guys don't accentuate their lips as much as women do half the time with the lips sticking off. See, my guys have the um, same kind of lips as we women. Let's add it in there. And let's add the lips on. You're gonna have the same ears, eyebrow, bottom of the nose, bottom of the nose, eyebrow, and then just put his ears in, same exact way. Some guys have pierced ears, put it in there. Now a guy who works out is gonna have a more muscular neck, like we were saying, because they're lifting. So they're developing the muscles in their necks. So the neck is gonna be a little thicker, a little fuller, because he's working out. Some guys actually put weights on their neck to actually lift that and develop that neck, okay? So their necks might be a little bit thicker. So we want to make make sure that we, remember it's from the neck. Feel that neck, feel it right here from the bottom. You can feel where the neck is. And they might have the muscle right here, okay? Now, depending on where his hair is, you want to add his hairline, okay? Does he have a part in the side? Does he have sideburns? You want to add it in. Does he have um, a widow's peak? Does he have his hair on the side? How does he have his hair, how does he wear his hair? You want to decide how his hair goes. So put his hair in. Does he, what's, what he, what's he look like? How's his hair go? You know, decide. Does he wear, how's he wear his hair? Does it go up a little? Does it go? How's he wear it? Does he wear it a little loose? Color it in. What color is it? Get it in there. You know, like do it up. Okay. So you got to make it up, you know, just go as it goes. Okay. Then color in his pupil, do this up, you know, does he, what kind of shirt, put it in, you know, make his collar, get it going, voila, you're done. Is he um, clean shaven, does he have a mustache, does he have a beard, whatever, you know, you gotta go add your details in. That's all you gotta do. But if you remember the shape of the face, put that four quadrants in, and what I told you about the eyebrows above the line, 
and then the eyes go on that line, divide the bottom one in half, you're gonna get a face that's almost perfect the whole time. So have fun with this, but try what I told you. And you, I think you, if you remember those markers that I told you, you're gonna have a pretty decent face each time. But have fun with it. Have a great day and try this out. Let me know how it works out. See you in school. Bye guys, have a great day. Take care.